guys welcome back to my channel and this is time with first lady and if you're new here welcome to my channel i really hope you enjoy it here if you're old thank you love for always having my back for always liking sharing commenting subscribing i really really appreciate your love that you show me and i really hope that we'll get to the targets which you want to get to by the end of the year so today we're going to talk about something really different i think i realized that it's been a while since we actually had like a relationship talk you understand so um i usually give advice to relationship advice to my friends and someone said oh so why don't you make your next youtube video about a relationship um talk you know so today um i'm gonna teach you um how i think you should treat or how i think you should start a very fresh relationship okay um mind you i am no relationship coach i am no um i don't have any degree or whatnot to what i'm about to teach you but i feel that i have made over the years i've made some mistakes and i've learned from them and when i start talking about these things that i have made these mistakes that i have made i think you also realize that you actually have made such mistakes too okay so let's just get into the video without me talking too much I very f oh i've written them down so i don't forget because i don't want to forget and then mix them all up you know mix the video a little bit some way so the very first thing is that make sure you know your place okay for me i feel that there are stages to relationships okay so for example it's either you guys are in the talking stage or you are dating or you are courting or you're being exclusive if you're in the talking stage it means that he's probably talking to four or five other girls which is allowed to because he hasn't said he was, he's going to be exclusive with you just yet even you can talk to four or five people when you get to the relationship stage that's, that's when you skew them to maybe one or two and then when you get to the exclusive stage and you just have one okay that is what I feel that you should do from the very beginning. You must know your place. Go into a relationship with standards. If I say go into a relationship with standards, I mean that you should have standards that you are willing to compromise on and standards you are willing not to compromise on. Okay? So, for example, I can't tolerate cheating. It's, something, it's a standard I will never compromise on for anything in the world. So, if you are going into a relationship and you realize that this guy, the standard you've set for yourself for a relationship this guy is not um living up to that standard i think from the very onset you should just cut it loose before somebody ends up getting hit most people just enter relationships for entering sake you must be able to set standard for yourself so that you know how to deal with the relationship um now if you're actually in the relationship stage which means that people have been talking all the time people have been on the phone you know he's always texting you're always texting him it is okay if the energy changes a little bit so now you know he actually knows that right now he actually has you so he doesn't need to continue forcing too much you know so that's how come the energy just changes just a little bit not too much but just a little bit but when it's becoming too much i think you should actually draw your um partner's mind to it because sometimes he doesn't even know that it has happened like that, but he just has to you know okay as far as he has gotten you his mind is going back to reality that oh he has other things to do and then you know not it doesn't necessarily mean that he's cheating on it just means that he's his mind has gone to factory reset which means that he has to go back to reality i hope you understand treat the, the relationship knowing that he's not perfect and so are you so the, as far as you can tolerate his nonsense and he can tolerate yours i think that that's just it you just need to find somebody who can tolerate you and you can tolerate that person when you're entering into a relationship you must not don't be too understanding in the beginning if you're too much you become too understanding that it becomes too much for um for him to even want to be a better person you shouldn't be too understanding the, from the from very onset if there's something you don't like you must state it i don't like the fact that you call me 
too late i don't like the fact that i call you and you don't return my call i don't like the fact that i call you instead of you to call me back you you reply me or you send me a message just to know that you've seen my missed call i don't like those things you must make sure that you point them out that's not you nag it's just you telling him what you like and you don't like this this advice i'm giving is not just for males or females it's just for both sexes um don't be in a hurry take your time to know him let him take his time to know you don't be in a hurry if you're in a hurry you may crash because you will not probably see the other side of this person don't be in a hurry at all um also you must make sure that if you have children from a previous relationship a previous marriage or whatnot you must make sure that he's aware because some men don't want to be, be with women who already have kids or some women don't want to be, be with men who already have kids because of reasons best known to them so immediately from the onset you must make sure that you actually tell this person that you have a child and you must make sure to know that this person will, at a point won't let you choose between he, your child and him you know because when, when when that starts to set in it brings up a lot of problems in the relationship now you the mother or you the father you know you have to choose between your children and your spouse which is not a very good thing it's not, it's not a very great corner to be at a particular point in time so if from the very onset he doesn't love your dog or she doesn't love your dog i think you should cut it loose um another thing too you must always enter into a relationship with is your inner instincts okay when you start seeing the red flags don't don't act because don't don't overlook them don't 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 do that because when you do that when you overlook these inner instincts instincts um it's to your own detriment trust me because if this person is doing something wrong and then you feel it or you sense it and then you've seen signs and senses that this person is not the right person for you but because you like him or you love him too much you decide to just overlook it then it's going to bring bring you a lot of problems you must make sure that you listen to your inner instincts not your heart listen not, not your mind your inner instincts something sometimes something talk, just talks to you have your inner instincts all right but you must make sure that you are patient if you are patient or when you are patient you're able to really really look at things critically then you can make a deductive um reasoning about what you want to do next or decision about what you want to do next you understand which brings me to my very next thing no sex when you enter into a very fresh relationship or when you enter into a new relationship make sure you don't have sex because when you do it will cloud your judgment sex some people get really bubbly and teddy bear like when especially women especially when they have great sex or when they start to have sex with whoever they are with and it starts to make them call them text them continuously no immediately you 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 have sex with this person you transfer you you you've transferred your power or you're giving him your power don't have sex for me if it was up to me from what i've learned from my previous relationships i won't have sex with the man before i marry him and that's the one that's true i won't have a, i won't have sex with a man before i marry him the sex will probably happen after will definitely happen after but before i marry him i feel that no it brings out a lot of issues when many people have started having sex it brings up a lot of issues it clouds judgment one person becomes more vulnerable it's a lot of it's a lot of work you know so i feel like you shouldn't have sex with somebody you are in a fresh relationship with if you can actually wait till you get married and have sex by all means but if you can't wait at least six months to one year before if you want to give in you should give in trust me trust me and if he deserves you between this period you would know because at that point in time you are your judgment hasn't been clouded by the good sex he's probably giving you i really feel that sex is really really overrated it's one of the cheapest things you could actually get around the world and that's how come you must use that to make sure that you know exactly exactly what you want
I'm not saying use that to entrap him. No, you are using that to make sure that you yourself, you know exactly what you want. Because when you don't have sex with this person, you know exactly what he's doing. You, re you see exactly what he's doing. And you are not moved by the fact that you have been emotionally entangled with this person to that extent that sex can get it to. I hope you understand. There will be scary moments. In every relationship, there will be scary moments. And the scary moments will actually determine or help you determine what you want out of the relationship you are in. Because those scary moments push you on your toes and then your mind begins to work in a crazy way. And then it will, it's normal. When you enter into a new relationship, it's normal to have crazy moments. And what you actually decide to do at that point of the crazy moments will determine where, where you want to take the relationship to. I hope you understand. Don't be in a rush to conclude the future with that man. Or don't be in a rush to conclude the future with that woman. Some people are lucky enough to have um, a boyfriend for a week or two. And then he pops the question and then you guys end up getting married. Yeah. But. But. Also, some people are not that lucky and then some people, even if they are not that lucky because they don't know that person, um, they, it just becomes a disaster. So don't, don't, don't be in a rush. Don't make decisions when, don't make decisions when you are angry. I, one of the things that I have, I'm trying to learn right now is to make sure that I make decisions maybe three days after I've had an experience. So instead of me to just act, at first, I'll just make a decision and act all crazy. Um, when you're able to wait or sleep upon whatever is troubling you, the very next day you, you realize that you're able to make more sensible um, decisions. So I feel that you shouldn't just jump into ending on a, a relationship because something went wrong that very day or and um, jump into making crazy decisions because of you are you are you are, you are you are in the moment you understand so i feel that you should just take your time sleep on it and then um let it happen don't be doing his work for him don't be calling him often don't do it like let him be the one to call you let him be the one to be texting you all the time like it's okay if you call or text him once in a while but you should be letting, letting him do it more because he is the hunter. You are the prey. So if he's hunting you, it will be able to, he will be able to be on his feet. You know, he's always thinking, what should I get for Vanessa when I'm going home? How should I do it? Should I do it this way? Should I do it that way? Play little, little good mind games on him. You understand? Yes, when you're able to do that, it keeps the relationship fresh, nice, entertaining. It keeps you on, on his toes. It keeps you always on his mind. He's supposed to be the hunter, and it doesn't. And, and it's no more. It's no more enticing, you know, for him to hunt you because you're already doing the hunting job. So I know that you're gonna go like Vanessa. It's not easy when you find somebody you really like him and he's the kind of guy you like. It's not easy for you to just stay there and say, "I'm not gonna talk to this person." Um, I know because I've been there. So this is what you're going to do. You're going to invest your time in your social life. Go on social media. Um, start a business. Do more of um, what you call advertisement. Spend time with your girls. Go out with your girls. Have fun. Call them on the phone. Talk to them. Have fun. Watch Netflix or whatever. DSTV. There are so many things that you can do to take your mind off this person. And when you do that, you, he'll be there and go like, how come Vanessa hasn't called me today? Well, it's because Vanessa wants you to be the one to do the hunting. Um, shouldn't it always be available. One mistake I always made in my previous relationship was that I was always available. I was always the nice person. You must learn to say no. So I got a new principle. I think you should try it. Um, if you want to ask me out, you have to ask me out between Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. After that, after Wednesday, if you ask me out, I'll tell you to wait and ask me on Monday. So because of that, he would always have it on his mind that Vanessa only likes to be asked out Monday, Tuesday, or Wednesday. And then mind you, when you ask me out on Monday, Tuesdays, or Wednesdays, I'm not going to tell you if I'm free over the weekend or not. So I could tell you, okay, I'm free on Friday evening or I'm free on Saturday afternoon or I'm free on Sunday evening. 
I don't accept outings after Wednesday evenings and it's a principle and when I used to be on the market I used to hold this principle high so if you want to see me and I feel like you are probably somebody I would want to um, be in a very long relationship with which I, I feel would I would want it to end into something profitable for the both of us I make sure that you follow this principle so and i've realized that it actually works because um every time he's on his mind probably have an answer today is monday um i want to ask he even remind you that today is monday i want to ask you if you're free over the weekend so we could go out like, okay um can i call you right back on that i need to check whether i'm free on friday or saturday so we could decide on what to do then you could decide don't let him go hey um, i'm around the corner do you do you mind if you go out to have an ice cream once in maybe once every three months you can do that but don't do that often and you must always learn to say no like yeah, i'm behind i'm sorry you didn't tell me that you were going to come i had other plans let him know that you are not just sitting there waiting for him to call you that's what i'm trying to tell you let him know that you have other things to do with your precious time and so when you do these things it keeps him on his feet and it keeps him wanting to hunt and get your attention because he feels like he hasn't gotten your attention yet that's how come you don't always have his time and that is how come he always has to wait till monday to wednesday before he can ask you to go out i hope you understand what i mean let him be the one to initiate the conversations i always say this um, let him be the one to initiate the conversations. Don't be the one that talks too much over the phone. Don't be the one that talks too much when you go for dinner. No, don't do it. Um, guys like suspense. Good suspense. So it, keep him in suspense a little bit. Maybe once. Keep, just keep him in, in suspense. When you realize that he's really intrigued about something you're talking about. Leave some few things out. Some few things that won't come back to bite you in the ass when time when the time be but leave some few things out and when you do trust me he would always want you to talk to him about something most of the time let him be the one to do the talking let him be the one to tell you more about himself don't give every don't tell him everything about you on the first day on the second day on the third day no you can start giving him some few just here and then when you realize that both of you are getting exclusive and then actually all every time always remember that the onset the very first few months just like in pregnancy the very first trimester is actually the very critical ones so you must make sure that you do the right things in the very first few months also know that you shouldn't chase him don't be don't be the one to chase him don't always be chasing him like i said be calling him oh hi how is your day I haven't heard from you. No, let him be the one to do it. I've, like I said, men are hunters. They are hunters. Don't hunt for them. Let him hunt for you. Because when you start doing that, you start doing his job. I'm beginning to sound like a broken record, but it's true. Don't hunt for him. Be laid back. Have your principles. Have your standards, and let him be the hunt. Let him do the one. Be the one to do the hunting. Period. Also, don't enter into a relationship. With the thoughts that the person you're with is your dad please he's not your dad don't be wanting to um get a love you probably never had from your dad from your man no you can actually get to that point later on in life but from the onset if you start doing that it's like you're choking him you are you are chasing him away it becomes too much too overbearing for him to actually continue to want to be with you just be cool begin be yourself be nice always look beautiful you know like don't compromise on that any man who that who is intimidated by the way you look or your success doesn't actually deserve you and please don't try to entrap him some some women try to entrap my men by um allowing them to get them pregnant don't do it because if you are pregnant it doesn't guarantee that he's going to marry you okay let's just say he even decides to marry you it doesn't guarantee that you're going to be happy in your marriage and that's that's the honest truth because he's going to feel like you've entrapped him and your life is going to be a living hell you understand nothing can keep a man 
Food cannot keep a man. Good sex cannot keep a man. Certainly children cannot keep a man. The only thing I can keep a man, just like a woman, is when a man or, the, or a woman wants to be kept. And so, don't be trying to make crazy decisions like having a kid for somebody who doesn't want you people to be in an exclusive relationship like a marriage leading to a marriage do you understand so to conclude i know it's not easy i know it's very difficult for you to be able to sit down and not call somebody that you really really are into or sit down and not harass somebody that you're really really into with calls or text messages or whatnot but i feel that if you're able to set the standard or set the space this person will be this person that you really really want to be in your life for a very long time will actually be in your life for a very very long time because some sometimes you most times you realize that um most people that you probably feel that oh they shouldn't even be in a good relationship or in a good relationship i don't know for you but for me i have a lot of crazy friends and my crazy friends are actually the ones that have the best relationships and that is because these crazy people are these crazy friends of mine are able to act in a crazy way by acting like they don't care and over the years it has really really helped them maybe in my next video i'll talk about why the bad guy but bad girls get good marriages and then the good girls are actually single i actually really believe, believe in this because i've seen this happen like really around me my crazy friends most of them are married my crazy friends most of them are in a very very good relationship they actually call the shots so if you really want that for your for you and your relationship that you really really appreciate and love then i think that you should actually take some of these steps and then apply them in your relationship and trust me at a point in time you realize that you were actually doing some few things wrong so yeah that's basically it i really hope you enjoyed my little chat with you about how to treat a very fresh relationship and i really really hope that she took some few notes let me know in the comment section what if there's anything else you'd like me to talk about or tell me what you think about how to treat an um a very first or a fresh relationship tell me your opinion in the comment section and i'll be reading it till we meet again don't forget to like to subscribe to share if you haven't already haven't don't forget to comment and be kind and see you around it's been time with first lady bye for now